Stuart's Great Adventure. Stuart's Great Adventure, created by Kat Comer, Shelby Cook, Rose Eagle, Hannah Potter, and Trinity Tassin for our general ecology final project, including precipitation and temperature. Hey, I'm Stuart, a tiger salamander. This is my home, nestled in the midst of a lush green forest by a bubbling brook, I relax in the gentle sunlight. Mossy logs and towering trees provide my shelter while the symphony of chirping birds makes me feel at ease. My serenity was shattered when I found myself caught in a fisherman's net. Panic tingled through my skin as I was hoisted out of my familiar stream. Dropped onto a big crate bustling with wriggling fish, our voyage began, swaying with the rhythm of the ocean. The waves tossed our large boat, swaying me around as an unusual one amidst the fish. Can you find Stuart? I unexpectedly plunged into the frigid seas of the tundra when a large wave came tumbling in. Ice-capped horizons greeted me, frigid and unwelcoming, a far cry from the comforting warmth of my forest haven. Scrambling onto an iceberg, I surveyed the desolate expanse, bewildered. Why is it so chilly, I murmured, longing for the comforting embrace of my familiar woodland. Amidst the freezing desolation, I realized the steery Trundra wasn't my habitat. No fellow salamanders, only endless ice and biting cold in a harsh environment far from my forest home. A fallen hat became my refuge, a tiny haven from the piercing chill. Nestling inside, I sought refuge from the freezing winds, yearning for the warmth of familiar surroundings. The hat's owner reclaimed his hat, oblivious to my presence, and boarded a nearby train. Seizing the chance, I slipped away, driven by an insatiable longing for the comforts of home. I scurried beneath rushing feet as the train emptied, eager to escape and find my way back home. Determined, I darted away amidst the hustle, my yearning intensifying. When I emerged from the train, searing desert heat greeted me, a distinct contrast to the cool forest air. I met Hoppy, a resilient frog. It's too hot for me here, I sighed envious of Hoppy's adaptability to the desert. All of a sudden, I was lifted into the air and placed in the hands of a young boy. The child pleaded with his mother for me to become his new pet. The next thing I know, I am trapped in a reptile cage. I embarked on a journey with them, my heart yearning for my true home. Confined in the car, I gazed out at passing landscapes, longing for familiar trees and the soothing trickle of streams as the miles stretched on. A sudden jolt sent my cage tumbling out, busting open as we rolled over a massive tree branch. I found myself free, but stranded by the roadside of a new land. My escape. I arrived at the serenity of a less rainforest, completely worn out from my long journey. Amidst this haven, I encountered a different salamander species, the Nada salamander. Could this be my home, I wondered, a glimmer of hope igniting within me. But an unsettling feeling lingered, whispering that something didn't quite fit in this place. As I wander around, I see a towering leopard who sends shivers down my spine. Fleeing in terror, I sought refuge in a nearby box, cowering as it suddenly lurched into motion. Trapped inside, the box rattled and shook as it was loaded onto a thunderous helicopter. Fearful of the deafening noise, I stayed hidden until the commotion subsided. Released from the clamor, I cautiously emerged onto a porch. Amidst the unfamiliar sights, a glimmer of hope, recognition sparked within me. Joy flooded me as I recognized the elements of my home, towering trees and the distant symphony of flowing water. Racing towards them, my hope of finding my home was rekindled. Approaching the babbling creek, my heart swelled. Fellow tiger salamanders began greeting me. A surge of belonging washed over me, confirming my proximity to home. In the embrace of my kin, I realized this was my ideal habitat, the temperate deciduous forest. Perfect rainfall, familiar weather, abundant resources, it felt like home. After a tiring journey, I cuddled up in my cozy cove and was happy to be back at home. The end. Our credits include Storyboard That and help from ChatGPT for script editing purposes.